Now, as you might know, this is the Hobby King 6-channel Orange RX receiver, which is Spectrum compatible. That's DSM-2. And uh, it's a fairly inexpensive receiver, and a lot of people use it. They also have this uh, Orange 6-channel satellite receiver right here. So what we're going to be doing today is doing a little range checking to see how these receivers uh, work together and if they work well and how far. As test equipment we're going to be using the DX8 radio and an airplane fuselage with the Orange RX receiver mounted on it. And the motor and the elevator channels will both be working. And of course the Orange satellite receiver. Now the Orange satellite receiver won't operate if you just plug it into the Orange RX and turn it on. See, no light on the receiver at all. The satellite receiver is not functioning. So you need to rebind the Orange RX with a satellite receiver connected. Once you do this, both lights will be on solid. Then simply go ahead and remove the bind plug and recycle the power. And you should get two solid lights like this. At this point it should be working. Now the DX8 radio can be put into range test mode by scrolling down to range test and pressing the roller button and then holding the button on the back to put it in low power mode while doing the test. Test commencing. Checking receiver without satellite. Low power? Yep. Back up a little. I forgot to. I got to count the paces. On the first of the three tests, we paced down the road without the satellite receiver attached and got about 80 paces. Okay, it went out at 80 paces. All right, it's recording now with the antenna on. Satellite antennae. On the second test, the satellite receiver was attached, but was placed fairly close to the Orange RX receiver. And we still got about 80 paces. Okay, we're at 80 paces again, and it looks like the light's gone out. Okay, this time, in case some people might think the antennas were too close together, I've moved the satellite antenna out on the tail, and we're going to try it again with the satellite antenna separated from the main receiver. Okay, here we go. Low power. Does everything work? All right. All right, here we go. In the third test, the two antennas were separated as long as they could be along the wire, and we did indeed get more range. Here's the 80 mark. 82, 83. All right, there, we got 122 with the antennas separated. Okay, coming back. So we got a little bit further with the antennas separated. Not a lot, but I would say we got, what would that be? 20 or 30 percent more. We're back at the mark again. I can tell once I hit that mark the lights stay on a lot more solid. There was a little bit of blinking going on there for a while. Well, that was with the antenna out on the tail.
So I got about a 120 paces with it out on the tail. Okay. I think I had you sideways there. And I'm out of breath too. So we went on to measure the distance between the marks that I had paced out using John's digital measuring device that he built himself. And at the first mark, which was the 80 pace mark, we got 70.16 meters. And on the second mark, which was 122 paces, we got 107.64 meters. Let me get it over here better. That better? Yeah, I think I got it now. So these are our satellite receiver range test results and we got about 70 meters or 80 paces with the Orange RX receiver by itself. And that's represented by this line. We then added the uh, Orange satellite receiver onto that and range tested again with the antennas about this close. And we got about the same distance which is represented by the second line. Then we went and spread the two receivers apart, basically like this, the full distance, and we got this third line here, which was 107 meters, or 122 paces, and that represented about 53% more range. I could see the light blinking a little bit now and then, but it wasn't bad and uh, it would function as far as the elevator would move and the motor would go and all that. So it looks like the range is you know, around 50% more if you have the satellite receiver properly installed and you know, spread out from the main receiver.